you guys watching Volgor's videos, this is part two in my long videos of my record collection. Now, like I said in the previous video, these aren't 100% mine. Uh, probably about at least half of them are my mom's, and probably the other half is, or, may, or third is mine. Um, we kind of just put our, all our, our records together in one collection, because uh, it's the best place for them, really. Anyways, Knight Rider, Tim Weisberg, looks like this. I don't really know any songs unless I heard them on the radio. And there's the there's the record. It's not in the best shape, but not in the worst shape. There's the back side. Another one of my mom's, like that one was. Soundtrack recordings from the film Jimi Hendrix. And uh, interviews with uh, a bunch of different artists. So, Rock Me Baby, King, Wild Thing, Machine Gun, and then interviews. So that's what that side looks like. That side. And this is what this side looks like. Red House, In Front of the Storm, Interviews, 1973. Another one of those OK records. It's not that bad. I don't know. It's hard to say. Actually, I think this was my dad's. Can't quite remember. Um, this one was my mom's. Aerosmith, Toys in the Attic. This is actually the one Aerosmith I do like, other than that. Walk this way! It gets really old, and dream on, dream on. It gets so old. But this one's it's in halfway decent shape. Not great. A little past okay. Um, Bachman Turner Overdrive, not fragile. This one is apparently my dad's, has his name on it. I see fingerprints from somebody. Jackson Brown, Burning on Empty. My mom's. Yep, this one is not an animal's record. This one is Jackson Brown. Okay, one of my mom's, I believe. Nope, my dad's. Uh, Dr. Hook in Sloppy Seconds. This one's not in that bad of shape. It's all dirty, but not too bad. Could definitely be worse. The case is pretty beat up. Okay, here's a uh, Grand Funk, Funk, Grand Funk Railroad. Good singing, good plan. Um, does not have "We Are an American Band" on here. Darn it! That's the one song I like by them. The one good song. And. Uh, the record's actually in half decent shape. It needs to be clean, but they're not not too bad. And the sleeve's pretty dirty. My mom's. Good thing it is my mom's. Uh, the original movie soundtrack to Saturday Night Fever. Is there any good songs on here? Bee Gees, Bee Gees, Water Murphy, Bee Gees, Rolf McDonald, the Tramps, Bee Gees, Cool and the Gang, Bee Gees. Nothing that seems to interest me that much. Okay, TM, T, uh, FM, FM. 
Uh, original movie soundtrack from FM. Boston, Jimmy Buffett, Doobie Brothers, Eagles, Dan Fogelberg, Forner, Billy Joel, Randy, yeah, all these guys. Yep, and it's actually in pretty decent shape. A few light scratches, but not too bad. Come on, get back in there. There's the inside. And uh, here's the other, the other record that went to it. Now we got Kenny Nolan. I have no idea who this is. Kenny Nolan. Yep. If I was to guess, my mom's maybe. But hopefully. Um, Richard Pryor, that nigger's crazy. 25 cents. Rated X, unrated. Uh, I think this one was from a move out. So I guess this one would be mine. Barry Manilow Live. Uh, definitely my mom's. If you've never seen the episode of Family Guy uh, with Barry Manilow in it, it's pretty funny. Uh, Jim... Croce, his greatest hits. Ooh, and it's pretty dirty. Not very good shape at all. Not too beat up, but really dirty. Okay. Venus and Mars. Wings. Uh, kind of beat up. Mostly dirty. I don't really know the proper way to clean... A record. It's something I should probably Google. Okay, Disco Party. This was my mom's. It was five dollars when it was brand new. You see that right there? Five, four ninety-eight. Barry White, George McRae, Rufus, Carl Carlton. There you go. Tom Jones live in Las Vegas and somebody drew on his face. This was my mom's as well. There we go, there's his face. Backside somebody drew on on his face. Cool cool. I love you cool. I have no idea. Anyways, the record itself is pretty beat up. Ooh, that's a lot of scratches. Don't know if you can see that. Okay. Nine minutes. Merry Christmas carols. Disney's. That one's in that shape. Fair, I guess. Mostly fingerprints. And you put all the Christmas and crap in the back. Um, the Star Festival 20 dynamic hits. Brad Bee Gees, Joe and Bees, Neil Diamond, Donovan, The Doors, Aretha Franklin, The Guess Who, The Hillside Singers. Elton John, Melanie, The Osmonds, Gary Puckett, Three Dog Night, James Taylor, Rod Stewart, uh, Stampers, and The Raiders. That was actually okay shape. Just a little dirty. Other than that, not bad. Rod Stewart's greatest hits, definitely my mom's. And ooh, whoa, that's definitely beat up.
actually two discs to it, two records, I think. <laughs> yep. Uh, the Commodores, Natural High. Fire Girl, Fire Girl X ray movie. Three times a day. Say yeah, I like what you do, visions. Another one has got light scratches and dirty with fingerprints. That's pretty much the majority of these old records. Uh, Bee Gees main course, it's got a naked chick and a spoon. That's pretty cool. That one, light scratches, and it isn't too dirty. Another Barry Manilow. Trying to get the feeling. I've seen so many Barry Manilows. If there's any most common record that's not like old, old classical music, it's Barry Manilow. And this one's actually in pretty good shape. Some light scratches, but oh, I actually took care of that one for the most part. And it's got lyrics. You're leaving too soon. Um, Disneyland uh, Pete's Dragon. It looks like it was ran over with a steamroller. Mac Davis, baby, don't get hooked on me. Neil Diamond, hot August night. Half of it's in, the inside's indecent, and the, and the outside's light scratches and fingerprints. It's a two record deal. Wow, it's got pages to it. what that record looks like. Okay, Burl Ives, best of Burls for boys and girls. Okay, I have no idea what this is. The Fox, Shoe Fly. This must be like little kids songs. Ooh, it's got some deep, deep scratches. Anyway, not that anybody cares about Burl Ives. The Village People. And this was my dad's. The village people. This one's actually in decent shape. Surprise, surprise. <coughs> Alright. This one. The sticks, I can point that out. Precisions of high, a uh, gray white rope, I'm okay, sink for the day, the message, lords of the ring, and uh, blue collar man, queen of spades, renegade, pieces of eight, a coup, a coup, renegade, that's a great song. This record's in decent shape with some light scratches, so not too bad for how old it is. And it's got the lyrics too. Oh, what just fell out? Birthday card. Happy birthday, Dad. To anything you damn well please. Huh. I wonder when that was. Me in the USA. Oh, I'll be darn. Okay, the sound of music. I bought this for two dollars and I got ripped off. Um bought for my mom and then when I got home and I looked inside of it 
it was not the sign music. Oh, this one is. Okay, must be another one. Anyways. Best of the Beach Boys, Volume 2. Not too bad a shape. Mostly fingerprints, if anything else. That was probably my mom's. Meatloaf, Bad Out of Hell. This one is... My mom's, I think. Or no, I think it was mine. I think I got this at a yard sale. Condition of it is it's got lyrics and it's in decent shape. The Grateful Dead. Um, 1975 Blues for Allah. Uh, Helps on its way. Slipknot 1. Franklin's Tower. King Solomon's Marbles. Stronger than Dirt or Milk in the Turkey. The music never stopped. The other side. Uh, Crazy Fingers. Sage and Spirit. Blues for Allah. Sandcastles and... Yeah. This one's in really rough shape. This one's mine. I bought this for $2 at a flea market. Uh, Sammy Hagar rematch. 10 rounds versus Roy Scarlet. Roy Scarlet. It's got Red, I've Done Everything For You, Rock and Roll Weekend, Cruising and Boozing, Turn Out the Music, Trans Am, Lo uh, Love or Money, This Play on Fire, Plain Jane, and Bad Reputation. It's a pretty good record. Twist that around on times. This is what it looks like. It's actually in a plastic sleeve. Not in the best shape, but still pretty good. It's got some fingerprints. Okay. This one's mine. Nazareth, Hair of the Dog. Got this for, I think it was a, a quarter at a yard sale or something like that. There's the back side. Looks a lot like yes. And this one's in pretty decent shape. Spyro. Spyro. Chipra Carnival. I have no idea what this is. But that's what they look like. Oh wow, and there's pictures of people in here. That would be my grandma. I wonder if my mom even remembers these old pictures are in here. Huh. Anyways, the record looks like that. Dusty, it's actually one of the better condition records that she has. The Brothers Johnson. It's a black man group, apparently. Blam. It must be disco. And it opens from the top. And 
that's what it looks like. Dust and some like scratches, but mostly dust. This one's my Dr. Hook, Pleasure and Pain. Got this a couple years ago at a Lacombe garage sale. And, uh, Shel Silverstein wrote the songs for this band. The song contains the additional section All the Time in the World, which is not previously recorded, including the original release of the album. Interesting. And the condition, about like that. Pretty good. Some light scratches. A little dirty. Um, it's that time for one more. It's already 21 minutes over. Maybe not. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and see you next time.